guys, welcome back to the Anime Collector. So right now, Mr. Nice Guy, Dan, and Jeff and I, we're going to see uh, we're going to see the Resident Evil Vendetta at the JW Marriott in Video Room 2. And I don't know that I really have much to say about it. I've seen uh, is it Damnation? <laughs> I already forgot. No, which one is the first one? Is it Degeneration? Yeah. Yeah. So the first one is is Resident Evil Degeneration. It's a CG movie. The second one is Damnation, which I own but haven't watched yet. So we're going to skip forward to the third one, Vendetta. Hopefully it's good. There's gold, platinum, and diamond. So I guess we're going up to video room two. That's good to know because we're going to come back here for the Lupin screening later. Look at that, guys. <laughs> okay. So how'd you like it? <laughs> that was the worst movie I've ever loved <laughs> in my entire life. Uh, I agree. It was a terrible movie in all the right ways. <laughs> that was so much more fulfilling than Cardcaptor Sakura. Oh my gosh. So one something I noticed that we did is that Throughout Card Captor Sakura, there were these little moments where the fangirls were like, and we were doing that in this movie. Yeah, like, we, we, like, were, we were the we fangirls. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask happened? you, at what yeah. moment did you realize this was meant to be a comedy? Was it when the dog basically made a car flip? Oh, it was way or before was that. It when it was way before that. Or was it when basically they had a little hand to hand gunfight and they're just going around circles shooting the floor by each other? So that, was, that was way at the end. Oh, man. <laughs> no, okay, literally. Julie, there's this part in the movie. They don't care about human life at all. No, it's it's at least they, at they, least they, Leon is like, nah, it's all about number one, baby. You know? <laughs> this guy is is going on a motorcycle, he's being chased by these zombie dogs. He's going on a motorcycle on the freeway in New York, and he's just zipping around cars. The zombie dogs are hitting the cars, and literally, I'm not even kidding, the cars are like spinning out, crashing, other cars are hitting them, explosion behind them. People are dying. And Leon's just like hanging out the side, you know, like with steering with his foot, going like <laughs> You know, it's just the craziest thing you've ever seen. And then was, after he kills the dogs, drops the sign on it and everything, yeah. he just chucks the grenade. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. <laughs> And then there's the girl with the rail gun. She fires one shot, takes out a whole city block. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Yes, you should have. Really she have. she snipes. You would have loved it. She snipes this giant mutant guy. And it's like, oh yeah, it went through him. And then they have a shot from it went through like seven buildings. Yeah. <laughs> like it is exploded and it's like, everything. The buildings start like doing that thing where they're like things. the old man of steel thing. <laughs> yeah, it no, it was a. Uh, that scene in the Fist of the North Star movie where Kenshiro starts walking through the buildings as they're collapsing <laughs> on him. Oh my gosh. And then throughout the whole fight scene, Whew. the monster, the last boss, if you will, has got the big glowy yeah. shooty spot and nobody shoots it. <laughs> the, the, the whole, time, end, the whole time you're like, press X. Yeah, yeah. press, you know, <laughs> the, on, those on screen commands. Video games. Oh, oh, just, my gosh. Oh. It's like the, the giant glowy spot. That's the shooting. That, no. like I don't even know if I want to talk about Rebecca. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Rebecca. She oh my gosh. So, Jill. so we've yeah. got we've got Leon and Chris Redfield, who, by the way, looks like he's gone vegan because his muscles are half <laughs> the size as they are in Resident Evil Five. But uh, we've got those characters, and then we've got Rebecca Chambers, who's this mousy little girl, and she's this controlling presence, this commanding presence about her that everybody is like, she's like, hold on. <laughs> Flops her big old dick on the table, so I slap at people with it. It's freaking ridiculous. That really didn't no, happen. No, metaphor, metaphor, metaphorically, metaphor, speaking, metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically speaking, is that not the only yes, way you yeah. could describe what happened? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Everyone. She everyone. she was the real man of the movie. It was insane. Wow. <laughs> and then it was like, and then and of course they they bring back Rebecca Chambers. Oh she she hasn't been seen since like one of the earliest of the, the video games. It's so funny because and it's like again, no mention of, ever since Resident Evil Five. There's been no mention of. Jill. Yeah. She just doesn't exist anymore. It's funny because Rebecca was one of my favorite characters, and then when she showed up on screen, I'm like, that's not Rebecca, is it? Oh, I don't like what they're doing with her. And then by the end of it, I was like, 
Shit. <laughs> this is the best character. Would you like to bring up their use of time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the best thing. I, I'm glad you pointed this out because this would have, this might have just gone over my head like, okay, whatever, I'll accept it. No, but there's this guy who injects Rebecca with the virus. He's like, you've only got 20 minutes. And Chris Redfield like, oh shit. And he puts 20 minutes on his, on his watch. And then it takes him, seriously, like 17 minutes to even get to her. Yeah. The final boss, which is like 20 minutes long, <laughs> takes place in those three minutes. He gets the he gets the thing to to like the the and antidote right, and he uses on her. like oh it's like three two one. He's like oh thank God I I did it just in time. And then the very next <laughs> shot is them distributing the antidote to everybody in town. It's like well I guess the twenty minutes didn't matter. To clarify, just to cheered clarify, everybody. No, to clarify, they turn like half the city yeah, into zombies, should, yeah. and then they spread the antidote, and then the zombies. Turned back into regular Turned humans. Turned back into regular humans like like nobody's no. business. But you know, God forbid you were underneath those buildings, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. or in or driving on the freeway at the wrong time. Uh, I like to point out. By the way, there's spoilers. Uh, so, you know, well, <laughs> I don't think. I, don't, I think that. Yeah. Well, I, think, I, think I don't think it matters. matters. I think everybody's really pumped to see it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Also, yeah, I, was, I, I sort of looked at my clock because when I was like, give like X amount of minutes in a movie, like okay, I'm just gonna do my indulgence. Yeah. It was around 34-ish minutes, that whole 20 minute mark. Oh yeah? So, yeah, not, not double, but it's like... You know what? They you did, there is, the slow there is, Yeah, there's a lot of slow I will say this. Would say that... <laughs> it was... Some parts of it were somewhat believable in how long the timing was. Other parts were a little iffy, because, you know, it's like you're, you're following Chris and Leon at parts, so it's like, okay, maybe we're looking at something that is happening while, you know, the other guy's doing something else, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so timing-wise, it's like you could kind of give them some leeway. One thing I'll say they actually did really well, even though even though you're tempted to think they didn't, is um, how often they reloaded. It's like, you know, if you give them the benefit of the doubt of, of the Beretta 93R, did a really good job keeping that thing uh, uh, feeling accurate, except yep. for the end. Yeah. <laughs> when all of a sudden, the, no, when all of it, when they were doing, they, they do this thing where Chris Redfield fights. I already forgot the guy's name, but this like new Wesker version of this guy. Uh, he he fights this guy, and he's got like this Glock with this ridiculously long magazine. It's full auto, and they they end up getting a, like a fist fight with the guns, where they're just like, brr, 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 you like know, and um, they're like. <laughs> the whole time. Okay, it was as if Monty Ohm came back to life just to work on that scene. Yeah. It was dead fantasy, like crammed into just 20 minutes of Chris Redfield, Leon, and this other stuff going. Yeah, it was, it was like the equilibrium gun yeah, caught on cut. steroids. It was it was that, and it was also the the CQC from Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, we're we're uh, we're getting way far away from the main point, but. Do we recommend this? Was this not the greatest oh, experience? Yeah. And yes. you know what? This is this is the thing I gotta say right now about this is that when, when we were on our way there, we saw some people who looked kind of lost and they're like, um, "Do you know where this is? Do you know where that is?" And, and like, "Well, what are you gonna do?" And like, "We're headed to the JW Marriott to go see the Resident Evil movie." I'm like, oh, "Maybe we'll do that." Where's the JW Marriott? We ended up seeing those people there after after the movie was over, and we chatted with them uh, near the bathrooms. And that right there, like they had a great time, we had a great time, and we sort of like, you know, obviously we probably won't see them again, but we made, you know, like a short little kind of friendship there. And I gotta tell you that that is the thing about AX that I really love, and I haven't had that, in, I, this is my 11th year going in a row. And, and I haven't had that in a long time, and that really uh, was the highlight so far of my experience at Anime Expo this year. Anyway, you were gonna say something. Uh, just from a film standing point, the well, basically, actually, the beginning was actually pretty decent before they did the whole time thing. Yeah. Uh, Animation-wise, the action does get a little choppy. You gotta admit, just like, especially with the. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, if you're actually just like, honestly, this is a film though that you just you're not gonna care. That's the best way to, to critique it as somebody who has a degree in animation and literally went to school to learn how to do the exact kind of animation they did there. Um, they did a remarkable job. Um, I think it they could have taken a little bit further. I didn't like the redesign they did on Leon's face and Chris Redfield's faces look a little off. They just looked a little bit off. They kind of looked like they were trying to make them look like the guys from Supernatural. But yeah. Um, yeah. And that was a little bit odd. But uh, and the weirdest thing about it though was that it seemed like they used motion capture for all the characters except for Rebecca Chambers. For some reason she looked like she was hand animated and everybody else wasn't. Um, and I think what it is is that when they get 
when when you do 3D women, um, people get they don't want to give them creases in their faces when they when they're talking and making facial expressions, and they think that it's like oh, cause you know the creases, the wrinkles, they, they don't look good. Uh, uh, it's hard to do it in 3D and make it look flattering, let's say. But in the end, they just look like you know alien creatures. <laughs> I don't know. It's so she looks a little bit off, but again, her her voice actor and like the just the presence was just it, everybody in the room was just getting slapped around with a dick. It's amazing. Anyway, yeah, that's it for I mean, now. It, it is as worth far it, yeah, it is as, it. as far as like worth it or not, it's a popcorn movie through and through. Yeah. And if you just get get some buddies, get some alcohol, and just want a good movie to just relax to. I will say that's, this movie is that's like a good one. The Room or Samurai Cop, it's like a really bad movie. Oh, the yeah. here, though, is that like with animation, it's a bad movie with the budget. So everything just is like, <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. everything that just like, oh, hey, the director wants to do is like there's no limitation on it's, it. It's Transformers, make. but like they more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's a self aware Transformers, pretty yeah. much. I, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you guys have to watch it. That's, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all yeah. I gotta say. Thumbs up. I will, give it, I will give it a are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm okay. Shit. Anyway, guys, <laughs> yeah. definitely check it out. It was incredible. Uh, definitely worth watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs>